it's Java runtime. So we, we want uh, multimedia fusion to be used on other platforms. And uh, so you've got Macs and Mac and Linux. Uh, the best option for, for us was first to make the runtime work on other platforms. Um, and the, it, it would, the, uh, the, the most intelligent choice would be to make, was to make a Java runtime. Because Java is a universal, it works on any kind of computer, so it works on Macs, it works on Linux, it also works on portable devices, it, like phones or handheld PCs, uh, and it also uh, works on the internet. You can uh, have uh, Java applets in your browser. So this is what I've been working on. So uh, basically, what you do is you've got your applications, and in the application properties, you've got new options. So you can save it as a Java application, save it as a Java internet applet, or Java for mo mobile devices. There will be some limitation for mobile devices, like the size of the screen, uh, etc. Uh, so far, we haven't proceeded with uh, many tests. Well, uh, the speed of the application, uh, of a Java application, is quite okay. So it would say it's two to three times slower than the original PC runtime of multimedia fusion. So I can show you some games created in Java. So. I click on the Java runtime, and I've got the the file selector, and I'm going to select. <laughs> so it's not uh, it's not it's a one of the early games because the, the Java runtime is not in state to play more complex games. But as you can see, it's exactly the same. And if you were close to my computer, you would hear the music and hear the sounds. So actually, there's nothing very impressive to show. It's just exactly the same. Have you played that yet on a Mac or a No, no. So we, uh, we have ported all the internet objects, including the wonderful question answer object. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we have the big task of uh, converting all the extension objects. We certainly will not be making all the extension objects because uh, when you, uh, the, there are hundreds of them. So <laughs> we'll make the main ones like the control objects any objects, etc., all the all the major ones. Will there be an SDK for Java? Oh, sorry. Will there be a Java? SDK? Yes, yes, yes. So, so something that's quite interesting as well that goes along with the uh, Java runtime. We have been contacted by a company called Sonic Solution. They are I don't know if you know Roxio. They make DVD creation software for uh, big public. Sonic is the professional part of the company, uh, and they are publishing uh, DVD creation solutions for uh, companies to create DVDs for the uh, home market. So they are moving on to Blu-ray, and they were looking for partners uh, to have to make plugins for their creation software. And and for uh, lucky for us, Blu-ray Reader uh, worked on Java, so it was a great opportunity for us. Uh, so we'll be in this autumn. I'll be working on a save as Blu-ray option. So we'll just be creating a game in multimedia fusion, save it as Blu-ray, and then include it on the Blu-ray. So it's, it certainly is a great opportunity for us to get into the professional professional market. Uh, I will be going to Amsterdam on the 6th of September at a professional show, showing actually. Uh, the Blu-ray uh, interface to, to, to people. I can show you what I, what I will be showing, actually. We've got a library made specially for that. Do you remember this uh, small movie that didn't have any success which, with a rat in a kitchen? 
<laughs> so uh, we have been actually working on a library with a kitchen. Mm -hmm. I will. Okay, so we've got the kitchen, and you've got the rat, and you've got pieces of cheese. So it's actually a breakout game that will be <laughs> showing uh, on, uh, at the show, building a breakout game in five minutes, and then telling them that you can save it on Blu-ray. Uh, something else, uh, the guy who has been making this library, which is very high quality, uh, who is the guy actually who made the Sudoku game? I uh, don't know if you, you've, you've tried it. It's a very good game. Uh, it's a very good uh, graphic artist. He will be making new libraries uh, for Mortal Diffusion that we will make available for for people. There will be actually he will make four to five new libraries of this quality with very high uh, 3D rendered uh, graphics. Uh, there will be like ten uh, new libraries made uh, with pixel pixel made. And we will also create libraries from the existing games because we have realized that people actually do not think about going in the existing example games to grab the graphics. So we will make libraries to make it simpler. So actually there will be like 20 to 30 new libraries that will come out in a couple of months. So this is uh, my first part of the presentation. So uh, if you have got questions. No. Jason? Yeah? Um, what happens about fonts uh, working on Java? If, you, if you're on a platform that doesn't have that font? Uh, the well, the Java inside. engine uh, actually uh, tries its best to match the fonts okay. uh, from the name. It, it's, uh, you just give the name of the font. So it's up to you to choose fonts. There are some default fonts that uh, are used in both machines. Uh, but apart from that, then you would you would have to install the fonts. Oh, I forgot to tell you uh, what I've been showing. I've been clicking on the runtime and then selecting the, the the application to run in the in the Java runtime. But when you when it's finished, uh, you will just save the application. And it will take the application and the runtime and the extensions and stuff it into one jar file. So it will be uh, all all one thing. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Um, Paul, do you mind doing your talk?